How often does a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier need refueling? The answer is every 20 to 25 years, but how it's done is not what you think. The three-year process of refueling and overhaul begins with bringing the aircraft carrier into a dry dock. Sections of the flight deck are removed in order to provide access to the lower levels, including access to the nuclear reactors. But this refueling is more of a replacement of the expanded nuclear core with an entirely new core that has fresh nuclear fuel. You can't economically and safely refuel the old core as it's highly radioactive, so most reactor components except the pressure vessel are replaced. The lengthy refueling process is always accompanied by other work, like servicing catapults, replacing credit critical systems and installing new technologies. A particularly lengthy refueling and overhaul is referred to as refueling and complex overhaul, which can cost 3 to 4 billion dollars. But in the mid-2000s, the US Navy began implementing life-of-the-ship reactors, which are designed to last for the lifespan of the ship, eliminating the costly ROH, and with that, eliminating the opportunity to inspect the reactors. 